President Supanavong is among the most prominent revolutionary figures from the Indochina War era who led the struggle to liberate the region from subjugation by successive foreign powers. To commemorate the 105th anniversary of the birth of President Supanavong from July 13, 1909 to July 13, 2014, we asked the public what do they remember about President Supanavong. July 13, 2014 marks an important date in Laos history, the anniversary of Lung Supanovong, known as President Supanovong or Prince Supanovong's birth. The life history of President Supanovong is widely recalled in many places, aiming to give officials, the army, police and all Lao people the opportunity to learn about the leadership, healthy lifestyle and patriotism he personified. All of these had practical benefits and were followed up by action rather than being limited to words. By putting national and public benefit before his personal gain, he was able to command the respect of all. President Supanavong is a man who was very popular uh, in the uh, mind, in the uh, spirit of many Laotian. He is a, a hero of the revolution. He is one of a few men who could uh, lead the people to victory thanks to his strong character, thanks to his uh, dedication to the people, and thanks to his cleverness, he has uh, learned from life. He is humble to learn from everybody. He used to travel a lot in many countries. He speaks many languages. It was said that he can speak nine languages. This show his dedication to his own education before you can lead other people, you have to be also very clever, very uh, strong yourself. And I feel that uh, that's why he never ceased to learn, even when he, wa he was very old already, when he, he was uh, nearly in uh, retired. He is still learning, he read a lot. Former minister attached to the Prime Minister's office and former president of the Lao National Audit Authority of the Lao PDR, Sompavan Intavong, expressed his heartfelt thoughts on this important day. He said under the leadership of the late President Supanavong, the revolutionary force achieved military victories leading to national liberization and the new regime emerged as the legitimate government of the country. He is uh, a prince. As you are aware, he, he, he was uh, from the uh, noble family. He is uh, called sometimes the Red Prince because uh, of his uh, birth. He, he is really from the royal family. But the fact that he he could live all this prestigious, uh, pre prestigious uh, uh, name of family uh, and he can uh, go in the, uh, in the forest, we could say that, in the, in the north and join the revolutionaries to fight for the uh, independence of the country uh, against foreigners, against a foreign occupation of Laos. He has contributed to the liberation of Laos from foreign occupation, from foreign joke. Uh, 
this uh, show how he's, he has a, a spirit of sacrifice, uh, sacrifice his own uh, happiness for his country, for the people of Laos. President Supanavong was named the hero of the nation because throughout his life, he made infinite sacrifices for national liberation and development. Development of our country needs uh, sacrifices, need courage, need education. And in the person of uh, President Supanabong, you have all this. He has very high education. He, he is dedicated himself to learn well, to learn uh, profoundly, not only in school, but in many countries when he shower, He will learn in order to be able to be useful for his country. This is the uh, first lesson we could uh, learn from, from him. Mm -hmm. Not only learn, but also we, we should also make sacrifice. I mean, we should not, young generation, as you said, uh, should learn from him. They should learn to sacrifice many things, sometimes their own happiness in order to to be useful in the, the, the country. Uh, this is also something that uh, they can learn from, from uh, President Supanabung.